we're gonna baste them. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put them on a base. Ah. Amazon box. Lay these guys out however I want them. <laughs> they do not stand up by themselves. Oh no, that's jumping the gun a bit. Let's draw around these bad boys. Ta da! Da da! Alrighty, so we've had to move just because uh, the <laughs> hot glue gun has to be plugged obviously into a plug, which um, unfortunately I don't seem to have a spare extension lead. This is vaguely working. So I've just literally been outside, raining, got a load of stones, chucked them in the sink, gave them a good scrub, bit of bleach just to kill any uh, nasty bacteria just so we don't, you know, get mould climbing up. Although that would look authentic, I think. You know? So yeah, I'm just going to literally just hot glue this on top of the salt. That one's quite nice. Let's get some uh, glue on the bottom here. There we go. I mean, this is quite a nice little bit here. So I'm going to put the big bits in first. Put the glue on the actual piece. Spin it around, get rid of that tail. All right, let's get some little ones in there. Just randomly, you don't want to be perfect with this. The less perfect you are, the better. Another bonus of being over here is my heat gun. Yay, this is my heat gun. Uh, all right, let's uh, melt these strings. Just hit the strings, don't hit anything else. If you go too far, you'll lose all that nice texture, which you don't want to do. All right, so the best thing about PV glue is it's, it's wet. So it finds its own level and it flattens out, it flows, which is great. So what I can do is just encourage it to, to flow down a little bit. Now you might see me Ed, I can't help you with that. I'm gently teasing the glue where I want it to go. I'm so excited to see what this is going to look like when it's all painted. That's the best bit though. I love doing this. This is the great bit. I love this, but because it's so long to dry, you've kind of forgotten what you've done and then you come back and when you get to paint it, it's like you're painting a, a new model, you know? Do you know what I mean? Oh, I'm probably making absolutely no sense, but that's how it feels to me anyway. Now what I want, I don't want salt everywhere. Now this is my gravel, basically. I don't want it everywhere, I just want it in certain spots. I'm gonna let that dry and that is gonna do what it needs to do. Yep, nice and dry. Time to paint. Ah, black, red and white. Just cheap acrylic paint. Get it painting. So this is the bit I love. I love this bit. Absolutely love painting. Just because when you look at it like that, it just looks naff. It looks absolutely rubbish. But then you get to paint it and then once it's all painted it looks amazing. I have painted all of the grey. Everything is grey. So I'm going to take a darker grey and just take it all the way around here. I'm going to use the side of my brush. So I'll just roll my paintbrush in the back there 
and use the side of my brush and brush up that way. Okay. And I'm going to do that for every single stalagmite. So now it's just time to dry. Right, so this is now dry. Um, you can still see it's a little bit shiny from the hot glue. Very melted it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna carry on doing what I'm doing. fan brush just a cheap little fan brush get a little bit of water on there take some uh, get some white And now we just let that dry. What I'd like to do is actually make this a little bit more colourful because it's really grey at the moment. Oh, grey and black. So I'm going to take some of this red here and I'm going to make a wash with it. Now it's going to be really, 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 oh, you can't really see, sorry. Really wet one, really wet. Now you can see it's not completely red. That's because I sort of didn't wash my brush off because it creates a sort of reddy brown colour, which is what I want. Yellow. So this will look dusty when it's dry. So I'm not going to put it on the shiny things, I'm going to put it around the base of them. So let's make a glaze. As you can see, the rocks are blending in to the terrain, which I'm not happy with. To make a glaze, or at least how I remember it from uh, college anyway, is one part paint, one part glycerin, one part glue, and one part water. Now we mix all this up and it will make a glaze. I promise. <laughs> you can see, it's pretty damn good. A glaze isn't a wash. A wash is to go into the cracks and a glaze is to tint the piece. If I'd have made a red glaze, it would have been a bit, but it would have been red. Right, let me just let that dry. I'll have some nice dark rock. 